Hello, this is Reza from Radicad and in this video I'm going to talk about how to get data from a OneDrive for Business folder without needing a gateway uh, and scheduling it to refresh uh, on the schedule that you want. Let's check it out. Uh, there is a feature in Power BI or Power Query that is get data from a folder. If you have used it before, you know that you can connect to a local folder, get all files from that folder, combine them together, especially if they are uh, with the same structure. So let me show you first how that works. Let's say if I have a folder in my OneDrive for business with all of these CSV files, they are same structure but different. Um, and different data. Uh, so if I want to get data from here, I can go and say get data. Uh, I'll choose uh, from folder rather than every individual file. And when I select it from folder, when I browse for that uh, specific folder, um, it gives me the option to combine files and then load it. Uh, and so you see that list of files are here. I can combine and load or combine and transform. Let's say I do combine and transform uh, because these files are also needing some uh, cleanup. So here are my files. I click on OK. And it launched the Power Query Editor window, as you can see here, with combined result of all of those files. Uh, behind the scene, it creates function, and that function will be for one, for one of the files as a sample file. Then it will run for all the files combined together, right? Now, this particular example, I need some uh, data cleanup to get it working. Uh, like for example, there are some extra rows which I could uh, which I go and remove it. This is not part of the example, but I'll just to make it a little bit uh, cleaner data, I'll go and remove some of these. And then uh, let's say this is my function, produce this, and uh, here is the output result, right? Now, uh, this works perfectly fine. If I say close and apply, this works perfectly fine. And then uh, I can publish it to the Power BI website, right? Um, so let's say I publish it to the website. Imagine that there's a report for this as well. I publish it, I call this, uh, OneDrive for business folder number two. Um, and I publish it to my workspace. Uh, now this report after publishing to the website, uh, you expect this to be able to refresh simply uh, because it is, uh, it is sourced from OneDrive for business, right? Uh, so this is that report. It doesn't have any visualization, of course, but if I go to that um, data set, here is the data set. When I go to the scheduled refresh of that data set, uh, this is the place that I can schedule it to refresh. But for scheduling it to refresh, I first need to set up a gateway. And I cannot turn this off, as you can see, uh, because it asks me to set up a gateway. Now, if you have seen my other video, it was about uh, getting uh, data from a, an Excel file in OneDrive for Business. Uh, in that one, I explained the method that you can change it and make it with no gateway. Now I'm going to explain the same thing with the folder this time. The problem here is that this method that I've used, if I go to transform data, if I go to Power Query, uh, in the source step, the very first step of this combined one, I can see the function is used is folder.files. Right. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, it's folder.files. Now the problem is that this function only works with local files or let's say shared folder in a, lo in a local domain would also work, but it doesn't work with, uh, uh, with a SharePoint uh, web URL. First, you need to find your SharePoint web URL. And for that, you can search in Google, um, um, let's say OneDrive for Business login. And when you log into your OneDrive for Business, you will have a URL like this. 
you just need this part of it not the entire url only uh, up to this much before underscore layouts um, now this is the url that you can use inside another function so i'm going to copy this you cannot use it inside folder.files because if you do that if you do that you'll get a problem that this doesn't work right so i'll change this back to um uh, to I'll, uh, I'll change this folder.files to sharepoint.files and you see that there are sharepoint.files, sharepoint.contents. The difference is that sharepoint.files will give you all files in all folders, sharepoint.contents will give you folders, which in this case is a better option. And it might ask you also to log in and edit credential at this step, but you can see it shows me all the folders that I have inside my OneDrive for business. Then I go to the documents folder because that is where I want to get this from. Now, if you do this step, this will delete all the steps that you had before for combining and things like that. Um, so there are different ways to do that. One is this way. So let, let's say I do it as this way. I'll continue that. Um, then under this, I'll go to the data source folder. Under data source folder, I'll go to the Fitbit. And that is where all my my files lives right so one way of doing this is to actually um, using sharepoint.folders one more time sharepoint.contents sorry sharepoint.contents uh, with that web url instead of uh, folder.files and then navigate down to the folder that you want now from this step onwards there are different paths you can go through and they all lead to having uh, combined files result as a uh, files as a result one way is to use this combine option at the top that would go through combine process and will create another set of functions which is still fine um, let me just show you first how that works so if I say combine, it will go through all of those files. Again, it will consider one file as a sample um, and then combine them together um, using the sample criteria. So I can say, OK. This will create the combination uh, of the functions, parameters, sample file, everything like that. You see it creates a second set of this function the first set is not used anymore and then i have the, my second set i can do the clean up things like that again right that is one way of doing it right another way of doing it so i'll go back to uh to the previous step again right uh, another way of doing it is if you already have the function and sometimes you might have done something with the function uh, one way is instead of doing this go to add column add column invoke custom function you see invoke custom function under this section invoke custom function because your function is already there you go and choose that function you just need to make sure that the input of that is coming from the content click on OK that will go through all the files combine them together um, you can remove other columns and then expand it I don't want original column names as a prefix expand it and this will have all of those information in it I just do a detect data type it's a good way to uh, set the data type of all of columns like that right so and, and if i use this method i don't really need this new set of function it will just perform that and one um, other way is to go to also uh, advanced editor uh, this part is the part that you connected to the sharepoint folder and navigated you can copy this part paste it into your existing script that have the rest of steps and combined will give you the result no matter which method you use any of these methods as long as you are now sourced from sharepoint folder everything is fine now you can close and apply and publish it again to the service which is what i'm going to do it is taking a little bit of time um, because this time i'm getting from uh, SharePoint folder, so publish it again, uh, saving it before publishing, and I'm replacing the previous file. Uh, 
Okay, now let me bring this one here and show you how it is working. Okay, so here it is. Now we have this uh, this one. Uh, I think it was version 2. Yep. OneDrive for business folder 2. That was the file I worked with. Now if I go to the schedule refresh under gateway connection, you see that the gateway connection is off. I don't really need gateway for OneDrive for business. I need to set credential, of course. If you are setting credential, make sure that it is uh, authentication and uh, you can sign in with the account that has access. Then you can go to the schedule refresh and refresh it uh, up to eight times a day, uh, whatever schedule of refresh you want. Uh, for the sake of this example, just to show you that this process is working, I'm going to uh, just refresh it manually. If the manual refresh works, that shows that the, um, the schedule refresh also works. So here it refreshed at 9.55, now it's 9.556. If I refresh it, uh, this refresh time should get updated. Now it's 9.57 as well, so this should get updated fairly quickly. Uh, this method that I explained to you uses SharePoint.contents. Uh, Here it is. Now you can see it is refreshed. SharePoint.contents instead of folder.files and you don't need a gateway to get your Power BI refreshed. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thanks.